All right, so we're gonna do some straight up flow today. We're just gonna move, feel our bodies. Um, what I love about flow yoga is that it is an ability to come in with whatever you're coming in with, whether that's um, anger, resentment, or joy and health. Whether you're feeling at your worst or your best, flow is a way to move energy through your body. And um, it really has helped me uh, ground more into myself and not function solely on reaction, but understanding that stuck energy is just stuck energy. So I'm feeling stuck energy today, and that's why I bring this up. In my body, I feel some anger in my body. I feel tension and some anxiety. And flow is a way for us to connect to our bodies, to our breath, to the gift of movement and the gift of processing and kind of holding whatever is present and knowing that we are not our emotions, we are not our thoughts. So I am not this anxiety I feel, I am not the anger I feel. I am something that can hold all of that and still space for love, compassion, joy, and empathy. So really feeling into how we can be vehicles of change, of transformation. And often that comes by allowing what is true for us in the moment to have space. So with that said, we'll take a few moments. Welcome, Gina, I see you. Maybe some Nadi Shodna, yeah? I know you love that one. So we'll bring our right hand by our nostril, thumb by the right nostril, ring finger by the left. I like to put the middle two on the third eye. I know a lot of folks traditionally curl them in. So whatever feels useful to you, we'll gently close the right nostril, inhale through the left side. Close the left side, exhale through the right. Inhale here through the right side. Gently close that side, exhale left. Inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. We'll continue at our own pace for several more moments. Next exhale through the left side might be the last one. Just sit and notice. Then <clears throat> inhale and reach our arms. Exhale, lean to the left. And then this right hand, we'll take it down by our waist or our hip and just nod your head and nose slowly. So somewhere along that calf, you might notice a good place to stretch and we'll just stay a few extra breaths there.
inhale, come back to center. And exhale down to the right. Left hand by the hip, we'll slowly nod down. Somewhere along the line, you might find a spot that needs some extra practice. Inhale back to center and make our way onto hands and knees. Hands and knees. As we come up with hands and knees, we will grasp the out path. Breath be kind of like Mani Shoda, honestly, so you know, stay with the inhale, so we can also go on the exhale. Back here, inhale, inhale.
water up to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise. Mountain. Moving on. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift in here. Right toes step to the back of the mat. Lift your hips, lift your heart, breathe in. Straighten your leg, breathe out. Stay for the exhale. And then bend that knee. Make your way to the long edge of the mat. Feet are parallel. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Twice more with your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. This time, halfway lift. Make your way towards your right foot. Frame your right foot. Dip your hips. Lift your heart. Breathe in. Straighten the leg. Breathe out. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Look forward. Breathe in. Step forward and fold. Halfway lift. Forward, full breathe out. Rise on up, inhale. Mountain pose. Arms up, inhale. Full forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Over upper up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Draw the knee in towards your belly, chest, or nose. Step the foot forward. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Stay for the inhale. Then the knee. Make your way to the long edge of the mat. We are parallel. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold forward, exhale. Twice more. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Lift time as you halfway lift. Make your way to frame the right foot. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Look forward, breathe in. Step forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Bow again, exhale. Rise all the way up, inhale. Mountain pose. Arms up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Left toes step back, right arm lifts. Big breath in. Side angle. Extending that top arm alongside the ear, take a deep breath in. And then sweep all the way over to the other side. Side angle. Deep breath in. And then frame that left foot, reach the left arm up, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg high. Right knee in towards your nose, step the foot forward. Right arm up. Side angle. Deep breath in. Long breath out. On your inhale, sweep all the way over to side angle on the other side. Inhale here. Bring that left foot, reach your left arm up. Deep breath in. Chaturanga. Over up dog. Down dog, 
or sit back on your heels or child's pose. Five minutes. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lifting hand. Fold forward, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Mountain pose. Chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale. Uttanasana, exhale. Halfway lifting hand. Chaturanga, exhale. Over our up dog, inhale, downward facing dog. Right leg high, right foot steps forward, back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted. Side angle. Inhale, exalted. Side angle. Inhale, star. Bend your knees, goddess. Hands can be at your sides, at your heart, or above your head. A few breaths here. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the back of your mouth. Inhale, exalted. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted. Exhale, side angle. Last one. Reach forward, cartwheel your hands forward, chaturanga. Over our up dog. Downward facing one. Right leg lifts. Bend your knee, open your hip. You might stay, or you might shift onto your left forearm, or you might flip your dog. Your choice. Coming back, your right leg is high, step the foot forward, warrior two. Inhale, exalted. Exhale, side angle. Half bind or full bind, whatever feels right in your body. If you have a half bind, you might reach your right hand under your thigh. Step the left foot forward. Through the left, rise up with the right leg through the parents. And then gently placing that right foot down. You might have a moment of a half or a full down half move. And then step back, star. And your knees, goddess. Inhale, star. Warrior two toward the front. Inhale, exalted. Exhale, side angle. Half bind or full bind. With the half bind, you could also come to bird paradise, stepping the right foot up, reaching your left hand underneath the left thigh. Coming to half down bird of paradise or full bound. Deep breath in. 
Gently put the left foot down. There might be a moment of a bound half moon. Then landing warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Chaturanga. Cobra Raka. Down dog, child's pose, or sit back on your heels. Five rounds. Knee and downward facing dog. We'll walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Hold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chatter on the exhale. Over our up dog, inhale. Down dog. Left leg lifts, left foot steps forward, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Straighten that left leg. Reach beyond your toes, triangle. Five breaths here. Now you might stay in triangle if that's serving you, or half moon where you touch the block, or you might bend that right knee and reach back with your right hand for the right foot for sugar cane, or stay in half moon. Slowly land. Keep our way to the long edge of the mat, feet are parallel, halfway lift, fold forward to stay or headstand. If you come to headstand, come back. We'll halfway lift. Turn our heels in and our toes out, hands to the thighs or forearms or elbows. Squat the booty down. You might bring your right shoulder toward the earth as you gently nudge your right thigh open with your right palm. And then switch sides. Slowly come up, star. Next, warrior two toward the back. Inhale, exalted warrior. Straighten that right leg. Reach beyond your toes. Triangle pose. Five breaths. Half moon, you might touch a block or a chair or a wall or the floor. Or you might come to sugar cane by bending that left knee, reaching back with the left hand. Land steady, bring your front foot. Better 
Cobra Down your face. Left leg lifts. Bend the knee, open your hip where you might stay. Push it onto your right forearm or flip your dog. We'll come back, step the left foot forward, warrior two. Right arm comes underneath and eagle arms, or hug yourself. Humble warrior, it's either hugging yourself or eagle arms. Release and make your way to the long edge of your mat. Feet are parallel. You might fold forward, drive your hands through your legs, or grab your big toes. You might twist, or you might stand on your head. Lots of choice. Just breathe about 10 breaths here. We'll meet in a halfway lift. Heels and toes out, this time goddess pose. Inhale star. Warrior two toward the front. Left arm under for a hug or eagle arms. Humble warrior. With these arms. Release Chaturanga. Oh, brother, up dog. Rest, what does rest feel like for you? Is it child's pose? Is it sitting back on your heels? You're ready. Downward facing dog. Walk or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose. Inhale here. Fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Over or up dog, inhale. Down dog, right foot steps forward, back heel goes down, warrior one. Find the pose. Inhale here. Chaturanga. Over or up dog. Down dog, left foot forward, warrior one. Find the pose, inhale here, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, down 
stand up, child's pose, or sit back on your heels. Feet in, down dog. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Walk your hop to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Stand up. Chair pose. Inhale. Pull forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale here. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog. Down dog, right foot, warrior one. Breathe in. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Rest five breaths. Eat in down dog. Walker hop to the top. Halfway lift, pull forward, chair pose, mountain, chair pose, inhale, pull forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, Opera or up dog, down dog, right foot, warrior one. Inhale here. This time, straighten the front leg. Reach behind your back for opposite elbows or wrists. Fold forward, pyramid. Release your hands. Lengthen. Draw your right hip back. Reach your right arm up, evolve triangle. Train your front foot. Maybe you have blocks. Lift that left leg up. Draw your knee in towards your nose. Lengthen out. Knee toward nose. Lengthen. Knee toward nose. Lengthen out. Reach your right arm up. Revolve half moon. Hands down, left foot down, pull forward over that right knee. Now we're facing the maybe your cheddar under, or maybe you step up. Step your left foot forward, back heel down, warrior one. Breathe in. Straighten the left leg, reach behind you for opposite wrist or elbows, heart forward. 
pyramid pose or that torsion. Lengthen, flat back, draw your left hip back, reach your left arm up, revolve triangle. In your front foot. Look forward, you might have blocks. Reach your right leg to hip height. Lengthen out. Draw your knee in for your knees. Lengthen, inhale. Knee toward your knees. Lengthen, inhale. Knee toward your knees. Lengthen out. Lift your left arm, revolve half moon. Step that right foot back. Now forward, move over the left leg. Down dog, your way. Walker top to the top. Halfway lift. Pull forward. Walk your feet as wide as the edge of your mat. Turn your toes out. Squat. You might stay or crow. All meet in a wide legged forward fold. Our feet are parallel, but they might be to the edges or to the top of our mat. Grab opposite elbows. Three. And make your way to down dog, whatever that looks like for your body. Right leg lifts, right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Left heel goes down, kind of like warrior two. We're going to walk our hands, maybe blocks and forearms off to the left. Engage your left leg. We'll start coming. Moving our torso back to face forward. Maybe the right shoulder goes underneath the right knee. Maybe the right hand cups the right heel or comes around and touches the top of the foot. Maybe the left arm comes over, grabs the ankle, the hand. Engaging the left quad. Drawing the right hip back. Release your hands. We're going to pivot to place the left knee to the earth. So we're 
we're going to send our hips back a little bit. Hard flex this right foot at the ankle, let the right knee open. And with our hips back a little bit and that right knee bent, you might come onto blocks with forearms. Send our hips forward. You're keeping that right knee open to the right. So you might place your right hand on your right thigh. Some folks like to bend the left knee, reach back with the right hand for the left foot, stretch the front of the left quad. Whatever feels useful. Today, honestly, it feels more useful to go back to the first variation. So, I'm going to do that for five more breaths. We've got to make our way to down dog. So, however, that feels useful. Leg lifts. Left foot steps to the outside of the left hand, right. Heel goes down like warrior two. Hands walk off to the right, maybe on blocks. Engage your right quad like you're going to lift the kneecap, expanding that left knee. Square our torso to face forward. Maybe the left shoulder goes underneath the left knee. You might cup your heel or walk the left hand around and interlace your hands. On your left knee, we'll draw the left hip back. Keep engaging the right quad, which is what I always forget. And breathe. Pivot, my friends, to bring that right knee down into the baby Jesus and our step. Hard flex the left foot, that ankle, let the toes open to the left. Come on the forearms if possible or walks. Hips going back, you feel the left hip in a different place. Mm -hmm. Breathe. We hold a lot of emotion in our hips. We really do. I know that sounds terribly blue, but it's actually physically true. Then we'll send our hips forward. So you might rest your left hand on that left thigh. Or maybe you reach back for your right foot with your left hand, stretching the quad.
then we've got to make our way to down dog when you're ready. My dears, we make our way onto our backs, onto our backs. So my offering today is pigeon on our back. And if you'd rather be pigeon pose, you can certainly do that. Or I know some of you like the double pigeon or called fire log. That's also good. I'm moving off my mat because my microphone is blinking, so I think it needs to be charged. Hopefully you can all still hear me. Right ankle, left knee, thread the needle. Or I like pigeon on my back by straightening the left leg because then I can kind of move this right knee out and in until I find a good spot. So see what works for you. Move to half happy baby on that right side. Half happy baby. Unless you've chosen regular pigeon, then you might see a few extra drops. Never works. Then left ankle, right knee, thread the needle, or pigeon on your back. Regular pigeon, you might switch sides. Have happy baby or a few extra breaths and pigeon on the belly. Release that side. If you're not on your back, make your way there. You might place a bolster or block or blanket or pillow between your knees and twist to the right.
then we'll slowly come back to center. Move it to the left. back to center right here and then any final poses that you want maybe shoulder stand that's always a good closer or legs up the wall or a bolster under your butt and legs up in the air whatever feels like it is useful for you to rest enough in shavasana you might be ready right now you can do that too whatever Honor the essence of being, the luminous spirit within who assumes the forms of truth, consciousness, and use, never absent, fully peace, ultimately free, sparkles with divine blessing. Sachin, <laughs> 
Palms will gather in some shape that makes sense to you right now at your heart. In the spirit of peace, we say Shanti, Shalom, Salam, Amani, Maluhia, Irini, Shiakan, Jam, Pache, Pad. In the spirit of our collective truth and liberation, we say, Ashe, Amin, Amen, Blessed be, Kapu Aloha, in La Ketch, Satnam, Namaste, Matakuyasin, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> 